Okay, so we're trying to help. We're trying to help people care for and maintain their dog at home. Grooming fundamentals for dog owners. So you've got lots of hair in the pads, say, and they're slipping and sliding on the hardwoods, they're slipping and sliding on the ceramics. You're worried about their pads. And that's wise of you because these pads can get really matted and they get full of debris and nasty stuff. So how do you take care of that at home when you don't have a groomer right now? You are going to just do it this way, okay? Don't worry about going in there with your scissors so much. Just take the top off, okay? You pick it up between your fingers and just take the top of it off, okay? Just for now. We don't do it that way when we're, you know, we go in a lot more flush and get it in there better for our customers. But I want to show you how to just safely do it at home so that you've got one, two, three, four, five pads that are exposed and all five pads are able to feel the surface that they're walking on because that's, that's really important that these digits have got full contact with the surface that they're coming into contact with because those digits is what sends the message to the brain of how slippery or how hot or, you know, whatever they're walking on. That's how they get the message to the brain. So when you got a whole whack of hair in the pad of the foot interfering with it, especially if they're an old senior dog, right, it really messes them up. That and the toenails. And we'll get into the toenails later. But for here, just stay safe and just expose those pads. And if you keep this clean by wiping it out with a cloth regularly, and I don't mean like once every couple of weeks, I mean every couple of days, pick up your dog's feet and have a look. Okay, see how healthy that foot is? That's good. Boom. You're not gonna do this on the floor. You're not gonna do this on the couch. You're gonna do this on a flat raised level surface, right? You're gonna use a non-skid mat on that flat level raised surface. Because if you are gonna do it on the floor or on the bed or on the couch, all your dog's gonna do is walk away, right? Those areas are snuggle, play, snuggle areas, play areas, and all that kind of thing. Up on the flat raised level surface that's sturdy and it doesn't skid and slip around, that's the training time. That's the time the dog becomes to know that this is business and we're going to pay attention and we're going to work with our owners, okay? So set them up and set yourself up for success by getting them off the floor, okay? And there you go. That's how you would do it at home, okay? You just want to expose the digits, expose the pads. That doesn't make you feel comfortable, don't do it. You know, just do this until you are comfortable with going in there with your scissors. But your average thick kitchen scissors, I guess I should have brought a pair in, isn't gonna do a very good job at going into these small delicate areas, right? It's kind of clunky not the greatest of ideas so there you go that's good enough for at home you've got those pads exposed it's all good okay we're gonna get him in the bath and uh we'll see you in the next video